What's up, conspirators? You know, it's days like today that I like to sit down at my computer and look at the stupid downloading. Look at it. Eight, six minutes left. <sighs> I'm, I'm waiting for a program to download because I have this really cool idea for some games that I want to play because, you know, I have a gaming channel. Links down below in a wrapper. Did you know that I had a gaming channel? And yes, I'm actually doing Call of Duty 4 walkthrough. I haven't made videos in a while. I probably should go back to making videos of it because it was really funny. But I just got an idea and so I'm testing out some stuff. Fun of making videos. And if you're wondering what the noise is, oh, there's no noise. It's actually quiet. <sighs> it's the stupid road outside. I live next to a road in Taiwan and, 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 there's, and there's cars and everything. And uh, yeah. Why do I not have a tripod when I'm recording? I don't need a tripod, okay? Whoever left that comment on yesterday, yesterday's video, apparently I can't finish sentences. Anyways, uh, but like, I'm holding it in my hand right here. It's, see, look, I'm holding a video camera in my hand. It's called a vlog. I can do whatever the heck I want to. And uh, you know, it, it deal with it, sucker, you know? Once you try to hold a camera, I've been holding it for what, a hundred and what, what is it, 119 days now, 119, 120, something like that, and I'm, I'm getting pretty good at it, yeah, see it doesn't shake as much as it used to, like the first video, like whoa, but uh, it's, it still does, I'm still trying to get used to it and all, but uh, what happened for me today, nothing really, I just taught, and it's Friday, booyah, it's the weekend, and I'm actually not doing anything. I'm actually gonna drink that. Um, I've never had Red Bull, so <clears throat> yeah, I'm probably gonna be bouncing off the walls. I'm kidding. I've had a monster before. I can literally drink two monster in a row, go to sleep, and it, it doesn't have an effect on me at all. It doesn't. Caffeine doesn't have an effect on me at all. It's just you know, uh, pointless. But it tastes really good, and I really wish I had Mountain Dew because I drink that all day. Yeah. Stupid caffeine. Why did, Why are my pants getting dirty? Seriously? Ugh. I just, like, it's stupid. Like, dirt literally falls from the sky and lands on you, and you're like, the heck is this? Get off me. Uh, since when does dirt not get all over the place? It's really annoying. It's really annoying, because then you have to wash clothes and take showers and, and, and mop the floor and mop the ceiling, because, yes, the ceiling gets dirty, too. Did you know that? But something really cool happened today uh, when I got back, although I wasn't home in time to record it. Otherwise, I really would have recorded today's vlog outside of the garage because apparently today there was this big old Matsu festival thing going on and they like walked up and down the street and they had this parade. And um, the host family, the owner of this house that I live in, this garage, it's, see, it's, it's a garage, I just, only the top part's the house, he decided to uh, have a, have a feast, I don't know, it, he decided to have a feast and um, made a whole bunch of food, noodles, rice, soup, chicken, duck, uh, goose, a whole bunch of food for them to eat, and basically why he was having a feast in his uh, business, while business was going on, is for good luck. Make more money. Luck and prosperity. There you go. Those are two reasons why. It's a pretty cool reason, I think. I don't know. I, I think it'd be pretty awesome if there was a business other than a restaurant that, like, said, Hey, between these hours, you know, we're having we're having a feast. We're having a meal, basically. You know, come over and get free food. Free food. You don't have to pay for any of it. You just walk in and say, Hey, can I have some food? Yeah. And they're basically like, Sure, take as much food as you want. You know, the more food, the better. Because the more, we'll have more luck and prosperity. And... What was unique about the Taiwan culture this time, this is what they do in the Taiwan culture. This is what their businesses do. They do it for luck and prosperity, for their business, and make more money. But basically, if you're able to have your feast, like when they're having a parade outside with all of these Matsu festival worshippers, they, li they literally like had this, yeah, and I'm pointing like you can see it. <laughs> you can't see the road, I'm pointing out a window. Um, but look in previous vlogs, the road that I ride up and down with my bike, that's the road. This is a pretty popular road. And there are people and, um, Matsu worshippers, festivals, I don't know, that's their local god here. But basically, 
they stopped here. I was about 150 people here for about an hour-ish. And uh, they went and uh, ate here. And, you know, the host family, they're, you know, they're all really happy. They're like, yes, you know, that, that, that means we'll have luck and prosperity for many, many years to come. It's pretty awesome. And not to mention, I got all this Heineken in my fridge. I'm trying to figure out why the heck I... Here, I'll show you. I don't know why. I just came home. Or I didn't just come home. I've been home for a little while. But like, seriously, I go downstairs and is this light even work? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, wow, it doesn't work. Oh, jeez. Okay. Watch, I'll show you the magic. I open this up and then it's like Heineken. Oh, in this fridge. See, see, you can use it to get drunk, you have a party. No, I, I don't drink at all, even though I'm the legal age. I, I just don't. It's kind of boring and pointless. Not to mention completely stupid, because if you get hooked on it, well, you get drunk and then you get arrested, and then all this bad stuff happens to you, and so I'm just like, I'm not even gonna start. So, yeah, that's basically my day in a nutshell. And you learn a little bit of Taiwanese culture. You're gonna have a quiz next week on it, so remember. Why am I dark? Why is this fogging up on the edges? Okay. Maybe. Do I have to clean you? Jeez. So annoyed sometimes. You know, dirt. Again, like what I was talking about earlier. Is this. Uh, I'm all out of focus now. Okay. But yeah. Hope your day's going good. What? You fell downstairs? No, you didn't. You did it for a play. You're practicing. Did they believe it? I don't know. <laughs> when when play comes, break a leg. I'm kidding. You don't break a leg. That's gonna hurt. Why did I even come up with that? Anyways, that phrase. Hey, go break a leg. You're like, am I supposed to respond to that? Sure. Okay. I'll break two of them. Hey, sitting up there. Oh, my leg. Oh. And, uh, yeah, it's really stupid. The video that I want you to see today, if you want to say it, links down below in the description, or look for the little yellow box on this video and click on it and you go to that video. I figure I should let you know, because some people just don't know. So now you know. But the video I want you to see today was sent to me by, uh, one of my, one of our, one, one of my, one of our, no, uh, was sent by a fellow conspirator. See, I gotta remember that. Was sent by a fellow conspirator. And he said, hey man, you gotta check out this video. And basically, it's the video of this student. He's in driver's ed, and he actually rolls this car. And it's, what's really funny about it is they actually have like the slow motion shot of it too. And so like, the guy's like, Wee! and he like, rolls it. And then like, he almost, he, he had it fine. Well, like, he's probably gonna drive off the edge of the road anyways and crash. But it's funny, because, like, at the last second, you see this, the, um, the teacher, his hand comes flying out of nowhere, grabs the wheel, and then, like, yanks it, and then the car rolls, and <laughs> it's really funny, it's after it rolls, you know, it, they have, like, a roll-down roof, and so, like, the driver, the student, he, like, jumps out of the roof, he's like, I'm gone, sucker, see you later, and, like, this teacher is just sitting there, and you just, like, see his arm, and you're just like, uh, uh, I think he was, like, I think you I think you drank Red Bull before that incident. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you want to see that video, links down below in the wrapper. Or check for the yellow box. Click on that. Watch the video. Then come back here and let me know what you thought of it. I review a viral video of the day. Every single day of the week. It's more than Ray William Johnson does. Booyah, at least one. <laughs> and I do it every day. And that's pretty cool. I don't know, it just, it's just something that I came up with because I thought it was a cool idea and I'm like, man, I watch funny videos all the time. I figure you want to see a funny video too instead of like randomly surfing YouTube forever trying to look for a funny video and not being able to see it and getting discouraged and mad and punching the computer in the face and then, you know, like going and making a sandwich. It's really... So, you know, I took the mystery out of that for you. And if you're wondering what that movement was, I'm actually switching... The, the hands that I use to hold the camera that uh, I'm currently recording with, it's pretty awesome. So, comment phrase of the day is, what? I'm trying to think of a phrase that's not too long. Let's see. Business 
feast. Uh, yeah, business feast. And leave that comment, and I'll be sure to uh, thumbs up your comment. Not to mention, you know, if there's other people and you like the comment, you know, feel free to thumbs it up. Cause I like, I like, I like seeing thumbs next to like comments and reading like comments and especially really epic comments too. I mean, don't you? Who doesn't? So that's the comment phrase of the day. Be sure to share this video with a friend, conspirator. That's your only requirement. That and if you want to leave a comment, have fun. Share this video with a friend on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever else you want to. And basically, did you know that I have a fan page on YouTube? Yes, I do. Wow. What is it? Oh, links down below in the wrapper. Peace, if you didn't already. Pretty much. Keep being awesome, conspirators, world travelers. And geez, I'm going on 10 minutes here. Peace out.